What's up, pool fans? Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Takanimi 12 string guitar. I've had this guitar for over six months and with that I've been able to experiment with it, even be inspired to write some new songs with it, even trying to see how my old songs sound on it. And I tell you, if you're one who's looking for a 12 string guitar, perhaps to uh, experiment with one, this model is uh, ideal for that. So what I do, what I have here, is I do have, uh, it does have the onboard electronics, um, but we're not hooked up today, which it goes right here. But I do have my little condenser mic hooked up a little bit, so we can get a, a, a little feel of Just a little amplification to help out with some of the sound. As if you notice, I'm going old school with my digital camera, my digital tape. What I'm going to do is just give you my first impressions from a guy coming off six string guitar to a 12 string guitar and what that was like. So the first thing that you're going to notice, it's going to, when you first get your 12 string guitar, it's going to take you twice as long to tune it. <laughs> and this uh, model has a tuner built in, which is nice. And what I notice is this built in tuner actually has a, um, a set time uh, for auto shut off. Um, I don't know exactly what the time is, but when I first started to tune the guitar, uh, it would shut off on me uh, before I could finish tuning the guitar. Now don't be discouraged because as you tune the guitar, get used to it, um, the guitar at some point is going to stay in tune very well to where you're just going to have to do some slight adjustments. Um, and so actually you'll be able to tune just as fast as you would on a six string guitar. Uh, since you're just checking and there might be say three strings uh, that you might want to tweak. Um, and usually they're, they're uh, a little flat so uh, it's always a tweaking it up. So anyway so that's the first thing you want to uh, keep in mind. Don't be discouraged by uh, how long it takes you to. Now second, uh, what I noticed is um, obviously the neck is a bit wider than your standard six string guitar. Uh, it's actually almost similar to a, a classical guitar, Spanish guitar style neck. The good news on that is if uh, you're practicing and learning, uh, this is a nice, uh, it's, an, it's an exercise tool, it's an exercise guitar. Because uh, if you're practicing your chords, uh, when you uh, go back to your 12, or your, uh, go back to your six string or even your electric you're going to notice it, you're going to see a difference of right away of um, uh, the neck size and, you, and you're going to be able to actually play the chords a lot easier on smaller narrow necks so uh, that's another benefit of the 12 string is it is actually a, it's an exercise tool extra I would say a uh, well it's an, it's an exercise guitar, it allows you uh, uh, to stretch out your fingers and um, go that way. Now I'm not much of a picker, 
Uh, I'm not much of a uh, lead guitarist, and uh, I'm pretty much just play rhythm. I love playing rhythm and writing songs. Um, for me, it was hard to uh, do bar chords. But again, if you're one who wants to practice bar chords, this would be the guitar to do that on. Because then when you switch over to your electric or your acoustic, you'd be like, wow, it's really easy to play bar chords on these necks. So um, that's another benefit of the 12 string. So it, it, as far as uh, practice and learning technique and just building up your, uh, your finger patterns, your strength in your hand, your position, uh, the 12 string is a nice uh, way to, uh, to exercise that, to practice those techniques. Um, now as far as if you're one who changes your own strings, uh, it will be a little nerve-wracking, a little nervous the first time you do a 12 string, just because uh, you want to make sure the position of the strings are in the proper order. I use the Dario strings, um, and this may be true of the other brands, but uh, there's a nice color chart. Uh, not only do they tell you the, the string, the size, but they also color code the end balls so that um, uh, you, you're able to line them up the way they're supposed to be. So that's kind of nice for the Didario strings. Um, right now, I don't remember, um, I think these are just lights. Uh, I can't remember, I think it's just the standard 12 string ones. Just wanted to get through this filming uh, with this set of strings and then I'm going to change to another brand. And matter of fact, I'll have another video on um, uh, just kind of the different strings that I've used on this 12 string and um, and what I think about that. So I'll be in another video. But for now, uh, this particular model, the Takanimi, uh, if you notice, it has, as we saw showed before. It has this split design uh, for the bridge and this is because to help keep the strings in tune than your traditional bridge. So now the other thing is this guitar came with an extra a string peg, bridge peg and um, that was great because Here's another issue you might be aware of, is some of these pegs are actually embedded pretty well into the bridge. So when I was doing the string changes, I had to um, go underneath the, the body here into the, and through the neck and push the pin out from underneath. Uh, I just used a, uh, a tool that I uh, was able to flat kind of like a flathead tool to, uh, not a flathead screwdriver, just a, a tool that had a flat surface enough to press up on this, these pins. Now here's a, here's a pro point here. Uh, when you do that, uh, try to have your hand cupped over because uh, these guys, they're like the X-Rockets, man. They will shoot out. And matter of fact, uh, I have one lost right now in my office. Uh, so I thank you Takinimi for putting in that extra uh, bridge pin and so uh, so here we are to rock and roll uh, and I'm not worried about finding that one that's lost I'll probably find it when I move my desk around now down in the future I actually uh, so you can kinda see if you can but there is a little bit you know they're not even so some of them are, are easy to get out with your standard um, bridge pin tool and then the other ones are pretty embedded. So just be aware of that. Um, I actually am going to buy um, another set of bridge pins. Um, maybe of the black with the uh, mother of pearl inlays. Those are kind of cool. But, uh, or something similar to this design. Uh, but anyway, I want to uh, have some extra pins around. 
Uh, that way I can just swap them all out. Um, so that's as far as when changing strings. Now, the other thing as far as re regarding this guitar and changing strings is these peg heads. Or the, the tuners, I should say. Not the peg heads, the tuners. So, you know, this is the entry level 12 string guitar. Um, so, uh, we have entry level tuners. Uh, when you have entry level tuners, uh, there's a little slippage. Um, there's one or two of these that require um, a few more turns than normal <clears throat> uh, before that the string feels like there's a catch and, a, and some tension on the string. Um, so that's uh, something to keep in mind and uh, as far as when you're changing strings. Um, but other than that, I mean this is a... A beautiful gorgeous guitar and here's the thing guys um, you gotta you gotta get your uh, kit um, Dunlop makes a nice cool uh, guitar kit uh, for, for cleaning polishing conditioning the strings uh, please uh, if you haven't uh, I've made the mistake over many years of really not taking care of my guitars um, always having to pay somebody to do it um, if, if it goes beyond changing strings and doing some, some uh, we'll put it this way, if it comes to soldering and doing electronics, I'll let, I'll let someone else do that. Um, but you guys, get, save some money, learn how to real, just clean your car, guitar, keep it clean. Um, this thing could just look just beautiful. Um, down the road, I may change this out, I may do some things, um, but for now, um, you know, I'm just going to keep on playing it. So, so what I'm going to do now, um, that, that's kind of my first impressions. Now, I did have an opportunity, uh, we did a small little online Zoom thing, and if you hear it, see there's electronics, let's turn that on. That's the, uh... So, I did have an opportunity to uh, use these electronics with my acoustic amp and uh, for an online uh, show, a uh, song we were doing. And um, you can get some really good bass tones, uh, bassy tones, I should say. Uh, it's all about EQ position. As a matter of fact, it was a little too bassy for me. I wanted I wanted some more brightness to it, um, so I had to bring it out. And then, of course, you're playing with the gain. So there's so many. Uh, my particular um, acoustic amp um, has all the bells and whistles as far as EQ, um, built-in sound effects, things like that. Um, so. So there's a lot to mess with. So I try to make it as neutral as possible and then try to experiment with the EQ on board here. Um, and that went pretty well as well. So, but for the most part, um, uh, what I've been doing, I haven't really been using a bunch of electronics. So down the road when later on we can uh, actually play some gigs outside, uh, I have to plug this guy in. Um, then I'll maybe make a little video about that as well. But for now, let's, uh, for those who are thinking about a 12 string guitar, again, this is, uh, we're just, I'm going to play one song here, uh, a short song, so you can kind of hear the difference on, um, uh, between uh, playing a, a regular 6 string acoustic guitar versus the 12 string guitar. And um, and for those of you who might know a little bit of history, I'm going to use I'm going to use for the comparison a Jasmine guitar. 
Jasmine by Takanimi. This was made in Korea. So, um, I don't know, I think it's uh, mid-90s, I think, maybe early 90s. Um, I've been trying to do some research on this guitar. I might do a little video about it, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting. So we have this talking, uh, Jasmine by Takanimi. And for those who don't know, or who do know, maybe you don't know, right now, Jasmine guitars are a completely separate company than this Jasmine guitar here. Um, Takanimi guitars company is different from the Takanimi guitar that made this. So if you go on the Jasmine website, no information. You go on Takanimi, no information. If you try to reach out to them, they say, uh, sorry, that was a past company. We have no records. So, so it's kind of like the, uh, I don't know, the ex-girlfriend you never had, or I should say the, uh, the ex-girlfriend you want to, you want to forget about. Anyway, I was able to come across one of these and, uh, like I said, we'll do another video on that later, but that's the one I'm going to use to compare. Um, so you guys can just get, get a little sit, listen between a six string and a 12 string and how that may even change the, the sound of your, your, uh, just change the whole sound of your song that you might be singing. All right, let's go take a listen. Yeah. 